to my channel, I do hope you're doing well. Yes, you have read that title correctly. Your girl is doing a come shop with me. Um, <laughs> I have been wanting to do come shop with me for ages, but you know, I get a little bit nervous. I don't want to get in people's way. I don't want to show people that don't want to be seen. I don't want to like, if people are trying to look at stuff and then I'm doing it, I don't want any of that. Um, so I was very, very kindly um, reached out to by a lovely lady at the Primark Basildon store. So I was like, you know what? It's a little bit of a road trip for me. And I used to go to Basildon years ago um, for teeth, actually. <laughs> I used to go to a clinic there for my teeth. And from what I can remember, it used to be a fairly large store. I've been told that there's been lots of uh, renovations and improvements and everything like that. And we've come to a little mutual agreement that they're very kindly letting me go in before opening hours. Guys, this is a sneak peek. Um, going in before opening hours and I'm going to have a couple of hours to go around, have a little look, get how get familiarized and see how I feel doing a come shop with me. So the next clips that you will see, I will be in the store. And I think how I'm going to do it is do section by section. Um, we'll put in little voiceover clips because obviously people are there working like if they're doing the shelves or they're cleaning or they're topping up and you have your normal general chit chat with your colleagues. So I don't want to be there being like, shh, I'm trying to film absolutely not like I'm thankful and grateful that I've even been allowed this opportunity so I think what I'll do is I'll just film around I obviously won't get people in I'm, there might be a head or two that comes in if they're walking through but I think I'll do it on a voiceover clip so yes next thing you will see guys I will be at Primark Basildon and let's get in with our first come shop with me so my lovelies welcome to Basildon Primark here we are so this is just the store entrance as you can see they've got the key pieces we are gonna get into it so first off this is the Paula X I'm gonna say Paula E range because I don't want to butcher her surname guys you know I'm obsessed with these three quarter zips and the prices I didn't think were too bad for these 12 pound a very very lovely quality I think what I'm going to do is you're going to go around with me. You're going to see the prices. You don't want me rabbiting away because as you can probably tell, I've got a little bit of a croaky voice. I love these um, little play suits. As you know, I have them in pretty much every color. And look, you can even get matching headbands. So we literally go through every section here, guys. As I say, I was very kindly invited down two hours before opening time. How cute is this? It actually looks like a Zara dupe. It also reminds me of something that you may use to get in like the likes of Topshop, but a fraction of the price. Um, we go through all of the collections here. We go upstairs, downstairs. There's even a little bit of um, the kids and babies range. Of course, the men. I mean, trying to include everyone, guys, as I say, I had full reign of the store. So I definitely wanted to try and make the most of it. So I'm just going to be popping in and out. But I want you to enjoy this and not have me rabbiting all the time. So. I say that, I probably am going to be rabbiting most of the time, ain't I? Look at these. I feel like these are like a dupe for a very high-end designer earring. But you know me, guys, I get worried if I wear big heavy earrings in case my um little holes drop down because I have to be careful with my ears. Loved these joggers. Like, so, so nice. And a lot of the jewelries, as you see, they come in silver, they come in gold. But absolutely loved it. And this Paula EX range, that's how I'm going to say she done one last time and that was actually where I got my green cargo jean trousers. If you guys are a OG, you will remember them that I absolutely adored. I absolutely fell in love. But yeah, this range seems to be very much the key piece. And as you can see, matching little cold shorts there. So I'm going to stop rabbiting off this one, guys, and let you continue to see the nice little frontal area of Basildon Primark. from my window sounds coming up like the day before you're like a stone on my pillow i don't make a sound when i shut the door you don't have to wake up yet 
We can spend our day in there I'll put the TV in the room We'll have a Netflix marathon KG saxophone We'll order in a bunch of food I'll put your favorite music on All the way baritone Shut the lights, go in front of rain We can spend all day in bed I'll get the wine and the corkscrew You don't have to do one single thing You don't know how much I want you Just looking at you makes my whole world spin You know I can't resist a hat even if it's in the sale, I, they just call to me, don't they? I love this knitwear section from Primark. Honestly, guys, like, I'm not cool enough to style this, but those striped rib dresses at the front, you may or may not see in the haul upcoming because I definitely did take a liking to them. I mean, we're trying to, even though we're coming into spring, it's cold. As I'm recording this, guys, it's absolutely torrential rain out there. But, oh, look at this. What more do you need? Layering pieces with scarves. The thing is with Primark scarves, guys, I have to remember what ones I've already got because I do tend to pick one up on most hauls. I definitely know I've got the red one. I definitely do know I've got that. And what a bargain, as I say. This is the time to get like some staples for next year. Well, I say next year. It's this winter, isn't it? Time is just flying past, guys. Getting the staples for this year at last year's bargain price. I am a sucker, however, for jumpers, knitwear, cardigans, coats, everything that takes up the most bulkiest of rooms in the wardrobe. It wouldn't be so bad if I was addicted to like t-shirts. I mean, I, well, I have pretty much all the colours of Primark t-shirts. I'm just addicted to Primark, guys. A lot of you say like the prices are going up. Yep, prices are going up. I think with everything in life, guys, the prices are going up. But I do feel by Primark having these collab ranges and you will see later on, Primark have, I think it's called the Edit Collection, where you see here, so the sizes are colour coded. With the Edit Collection, they are all one colour and they're kind of like the premium Primark. So it might be a top, for example, similar to the one that you see here. That would be from their normal range. There's one very similar in the Edit, I think it's about £12. But again, I'm feeling like it's Zara esque dupes. I'm like, okay, we're going with it. And I am a sucker for the shirt under the jumper, ain't I? absolutely i can't help it i absolutely love it and i think it's very good to still have the knitwear at the front of the store because it's a great layering piece and as i say we're not in heat wave weather just yet guys but uh yes i'm uh this is my little part i'm gonna cut out here and let you enjoy the rest of this and don't their mannequins look fabulous you don't have to wake up yet We can spend all day in bed I'll put the TV in the room We'll have a Netflix marathon KG saxophone We'll order in a bunch of food I'll put your favorite music on All the way baritone Shut the lights, go in front your favorite music on all the way baritone shut the lights go in front Fireplace warming us 
the VHS movie box Your old broke down touring bus And not a single cloud in the sky If I could go back in time I'd pack my bags right now If I could play back rewind I wouldn't think twice A pair of jeans and a dusty shirt We didn't have a you and me were poor as dirt All we had was time Hey, do you remember? Sneak it out in the night Me playing the fender And you singing, oh, it's alright Beating hearts full of lust Shiny Oh, what's caught me eye here? Oh, look, it's another handbag. <laughs> I um, definitely do not need any more, but I love these ones. I've got it in a red, black, and a green, if I remember correctly. A lot of denim pieces coming in. And I mean, look at these. Nice, stylish little trainers. These are great if you're going out and you want to look put together, but you don't want to be spending a fortune. I mean, £14 for a pair of good-looking trainers like that, you can't go wrong, can you? And as I say, get a matching hoodie. Be all fully colour-coded. Look, see, there's just jumpers. This is like my element. There's knitwear everywhere. And this did catch my eye, guys. You know I love a Primark backpack. Look at this gorgeous new quilt with design. That is snazzy. Look at that snazzy. £10 there, guys. This is my little one. You know I've got it in every single colour. But that's so practical and I absolutely love them. So maybe a backpack might be uh, popping in. I did like these shorts because they look quite long. Not ones that would like ride up your tushy. But uh, yes, we've got bodysuits in, nice coat there. Big oversized hoodies, that's what I like. And also this backpack took my fancy. The design of it very much reminded me of the Doc Martin, where you can have it as a handbag and a backpack, almost satchel in a way absolutely love that very lightweight and as i say with the rain currently you need something that's a bit waterproof don't you we've got a little uh, multitude selection look at the socks now shannon lee do you need any more socks darling no did you maybe pick up a pack potentially i uh, you can't go wrong i like just putting them on with my gym wear now i'm over like the uh ankle socks i quite like a high sock now especially while it's cold keeps everything tucked in loved these and I was walking around the store and I couldn't remember if I already had them or not because that is the style that I have but I couldn't remember the colours so this little part guys I, I remember correctly this is like the edit collection so you see here what I mean by the colours will be the same on the tags in a moment so again look just like a normal basic top but is it the edit Primark edit yes see I do remember some things and they are all a almost just like a white neutral tag so it doesn't matter with the sizes size inclusive and yeah it's just so you can see the separation between the normal and this edit collection which is a bit more of the bougie stuff you know it feels a bit nicer better quality and look they even do a hold all like to match the uh, backpack but yeah this is a uh, this is everything for me i mean i love this look at that a proper little trench burberry jupe God, I'm rabbiting again, ain't I? <laughs> Just a dream guiding us And not a single cloud in the sky If I could go back in time I'd pack my bags right now If I could play back my life I wouldn't think twice A pair of jeans and a dusty shirt We didn't have a dime you and me were poor and stirred. All we had was time. All we had was time. Every bad thing and every. Shannon, step away from the cozy socks. We do not need any more of these in our life. I mean, we probably do, 
We most definitely do. You can never have enough cosy socks. But look what happens when you turn the corner. Look at this fabulous bit of visual merchandising. Look at this. This is just screaming to me, guys. We know exactly what I'm going straight for. We've got Stitch. We have Baby Yoda. You've got, I think that's Bagpuss on there. You've got Mickey and Minnie. You've got Barbie. Oh, guys, this little wall was just my element. Those are the ones that mum actually got me for Christmas. But look at these ones. I feel like they could be an Easter present. Hint, hint, Mama G. I mean, not that she's watching this, but yeah, I absolutely love this little setup. And as I say, this is, it just screams to my childhood. Look, you've got SpongeBob, you've got Disney. What more could you want? I actually love this little corner because it was just before you went up the elevator. A lot of colours, a lot of colours indeed. And then these are your essentials, guys. It's all your tights, your pop socks, your little slipperettes, everything like that. So you don't need me rabbiting on. I mean, these were very snazzy. I'm not cool enough to rock those, but I wish that I bloody was, let me tell you that. You don't need me rabbiting on. There was something, however, she says as she continues to rabbit on. They had the footlets, which I have, but am I going to it now? See, guys, I never knew they'd done cushion sole ones. Look at that. So sometimes with the sockettes or the slipperettes, they can sometimes feel a little bit, if you're right on the floor with them, so say you're wearing them with loafers and flat shoes, sometimes they might feel like you're going a little bit flat-footed. I didn't realise you could get cushioned ones, so yeah, all for that. And of course, the hype of velvet plush leggings. Now, Shannon Lee, actually let people enjoy the lovely little hosiery section. <laughs> About to leave, already packing, come with me, I'm not really asking, we'll get away. A place where we don't know About to see The world in action What we can be Life with no distractions We'll get away This is what we waited for Right, so this definitely seems to be a big trend at the moment for Primark, and it's giving me Zara-esque dupes. All this tailoring, all the fitted suit, boss woman wear, that's what I want to call it. Look, very simple but statement accessories, whether that be your glasses, your earrings, your necklace, simple little pieces that you can layer on top. As I say there, you've got a simple crop, but look at this blazer. That is stunning. And I love that it had silver buttons. Guys, normally all the blazers have gold buttons and I'm not really a gold gal. £32, people might be like, Sham, that's expensive for Primark. Matching loafers, love it. But the quality of the tailoring section is far, far superior. So you will look to pay a tad little more. I love these suit trousers because they had the elasticated back. Suit trousers, you don't normally see that. And you know I normally tend to stay away from suit trousers just purely because of the fitted look. But I love this. And also you've got the skirt school option. It was shorts if I remember, yeah. So you do have an option if you don't want to go the full trousers. Again, very simple, classy little accessories. Look at this bag. I gravitated straight towards it because it had a pearl handle, nine pound. How cute is that? I mean, I didn't need it. I did have to put it back. It did break my heart. But hey-ho, classic striped shirt. You know I love that, guys. Hoops. Some people may say hoops ain't classy. I think you can make a hoop classy. Let's not judge before we uh, give it a go, eh? But as I say, with the tailoring bits, you've got shirts, blouses, waistcoats, absolute huge array. And if you are nearby your local Primark, pop in and have a look because I think you'd be very surprised to see and feel the quality of them and remember that it is Primark. I mean, 
that blazer was a little less, I think probably because of the detailing of it. This I really liked, but number one, I'm really sure. And number two, I don't think I'm classy enough to pull this off. I was thinking of that dress with like a big fedora, like straw hat, nice little mules. Yeah, I don't know who I think I am, but I'm definitely not classy enough for that. And yeah, not a lot more for me to say on this section. I'm just going to zip it and let you enjoy the classy tailor inside that's now entering Primark. A classic cliche, we're on the run This is what we waited for So caught up in the middle Thinking of drowning in those blue eyes I'm losing sight cause I am falling Now when they said to me they had a huge shoe section Guys, I was not lying. Look at how big this shoe section is. This is chunky. And they have everything you can imagine. Four pound pair of boots. Can you believe it? So of course we went straight to the loafers. You know me guys, a loafer is a classic for me. Whether it be spring, maybe not summer, but autumn and winter, I definitely love a loafer. Pop it on, they're classy for work, they're classy for evenings, and they're comfy. There's different styles here. You have the ones with the bars. I normally go for the ones with the tassels. However, I was actually quite drawn to these ones, 10 pounds, so slightly less in price, but they do more color variety with this. You then go around to like the classic ballet pump ones with a little bit extra pizzazz as you can see. These reminded me of almost like little ballerina shoes. They were so, so cute. Probably something that mum would have picked me up when I was younger to be honest. All about the glitz and glam, eh? As we're having a little walk through, you know what I'm going to. These are what Mama G picked up when she was last down with me. She loves her little Uggs and as I say, not a bad price guys. If you want something just to chuck on, seven quid. And they're super comfy and super stylish. As I say, mum rocks hers. She's like, mm, she loves it. Now, these boots caught my eye. They're giving me very much riding boots. Riding boot chic-esque. They almost felt like a waterproof material. The only thing, I tried these on and my fat legs wouldn't go in them. So, these are zips. So, just bear that in mind, guys. But, yes, very, very nice. And then you have these huge chunky ones. A classic. I didn't need any more up-to-the-knee ones. However, I think you're going to see a pair in a minute and just know that they ended up in my basket. This was part of the sale rail here. Chelsea boots for £10. £10 down from 18 I mean, you know that they ended up in the hall, don't you? I mean, guys, you just wait for this hall. It is huge. I really liked the moon boot vibe because almost like stuff that you would wear in Iceland. Again, these ones, guys, four quid. So if you are in the Basildon area, I would get down there quick because these are going to be for lying at. They also had another variation of the boots that you'll see upcoming. And then, of course, we have the mixture of slippers, heels. We, of course, have the £1 flip-flops. Guys, look at that. £26 down to four quid. Are you joking me? Are you joking me? Shoes, I could sit and watch shoes all day. So what you don't need, is me in your ear. So now you're going to see all the summer, the heels, more boots, more slippers. Enjoy, my lovelies. 
I'm so deep down, deep down And it's not a lie that I die I can hide So this was as you come in the store to the left hand side and it's kind of like on trend pieces but also it was mixed in with the workwear, workwear, workout wear. Now I really like this skirt, I don't know if I'm cool enough to vibe with it, I don't think I could pull it off but I do think it is a lovely lovely little piece. The two pack hoodie though guys that did catch my eye. Big statement hoodie, I think that's what you need in life, 18 quid. You might think very pricey for Primark. But what do you expect? It's two pack, it's branded. I love this little cropped one, chaos. That's how I feel I am at the moment. <laughs> Just pure chaos. But I did love this because, as I say, you had this section with like your on trend bits, and then you had like your workout section, you had some jumpers and bits and bobs in there, all of kind of the basics that you would need for an active lifestyle. So if you was going in, you wanted a nice big hoodie, you wanted some workout gear. Honestly, this was the section to be. And I loved all the hair accessories with it, guys. I don't know about you. I never noticed before how Primark would do scrunchies to match the gym sets. Copenhagen there. I feel like I need to go Copenhagen now that I've seen that. That was really nice. And I say £14, a nice thick hoodie. I am not sure what people's views are on Primark workout wear. I can't knock it. I think for the price, you get what you pay, but they definitely seem to be up in the game. I feel like some of their pieces are very on par with Able, which we all know Able is my go-to. But 
is a little bit spinny spinning. We've got to rein the uh, horns in at the moment. I loved all of this artwork. A lot of artwork pieces. And of course the balls. Guys, you know me, Chicago balls. I don't have a clue who they are or what they do. But I just love it. I love the motif. I love the colouring. And I've got my men's bomber style jacket. If you remember guys, I've got the short play suit of it. I love all of it, okay? So yes, I'm a little bit of a Chicago Bulls addict. But I don't really know much about it. So here you have the actual workout section. As I say, you've got towels, you've got bottles, you've got the headphones. Guys, they had the headphones in quite a lot of colours. These towels, I swear by, two for a fiver. Can't go wrong, I've got the uh, pink and white one, I think it is. But yeah, you get headphones, certain colours to match your uh, outfits, scrunchies, honestly very very impressed at the moment with Primark's gym wear so uh, that is for me to adieu you right now because you don't want me rabbiting all the way I say that and I've actually been rabbiting quite a lot sorry guys this is all new to me <laughs> can't go wrong with your Primark joggers. These are like your Primark essential basics. Joggers, hoodies, sweats, everything. I loved these. Self-care. Absolutely cute. You have everything here, guys. You can have plain colours. You can have designs. You can have Disney and branded. There is a wide, wide selection in this. And as I say, Primark, they're probably one of my go-tos. Oh, hey, Stitch. Hey, I see you there. I see you. And look, there he is again. Stitch and Angel have their own little section. You know what I'm going to, don't you? Yes, I know I'm 28 years old, but Stitch and Angel scrunchies. You know I love a scrunchie. Clips, yes, please. And then you just have the section of kind of like that basic tees, that little motif tees, and just your normal little section for your basic, like your tops, your camis, your vests, everything like that. And as I say, if you do not have a Primark basic in your wardrobe, where do you get your basics from? Because I don't think you can go wrong at all with Primark basics. I mean, I've had vest tops probably ashamedly for years now, guys. Absolute years. And they wash up all right. They are good as gold. And you know what? If it's not broke, don't fix it. If it works, we're going to stick with it. So yeah, you can just have a little peaceful look over all the different styles without me rabbiting on your background for you. <laughs> Oh, 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 no. I tell a lie. I tell a lie. Guys, they had the three-quarter teddy bear fleece jumpers. 
You know I love these. These are like what I lived in in Iceland. Look at all the colours. Okay, I'm going to let you enjoy this. But I was in my element right there. <laughs> Shitty car, but we hit the road Doesn't matter where we go and destination unknown I don't care where the motor stops Cause when I want it, then I want it Yeah, I want it, oh, I want it, let's go Look around, where's the people at? I want a taste of the good life Hit me with it right now, I'm in it Cause when I want it, then I want it Yeah, I want it, oh, I want it, let's go And I won't go back, yeah Yes, I know the weather is absolutely abysmal in the UK, but Primark are here, we're bringing the swimwear in because if you're popping off on a little spring holiday, you might have a log cabin booked or you're jetting away abroad. This is the time to get it, guys, because I guarantee you Primark swimwear flies at the shelf. And when you want it, you're not going to be able to find it. This really took my eye. I liked this. It looked very classy. I love the little drawstring on the side. With Primark swimwear, you will all know if once you see it, you've got to grab it because honestly, once that starts and you'll see the return of the £2.50 bikinis are back, £2.50 for a top, £2.50 for a bottom, then fiver bikinis guys fly out. And how annoying when you go and you get your size in the top and not the bottom or vice versa and you think, damn, I should have just got it when I saw it. But I love this. Khaki seems to be a theme at the moment. I love this, like a little um, sarong or scarf type. I wasn't quite sure what that was. But yeah, khaki, and also they had kind of a watercolour design, which, as I say, may or may not have popped into my basket. You might be thinking, Shan, you don't go away until September. I know that. But I do have the log cabin this month, so I wanted to maybe have a look if there was any extra pieces. But, I mean, with the weather the way it is, I will probably be wearing a onesie going into the hot tub, guys. Or I will not be leaving the sauna, that's for sure. But as you can see here, plenty of styles, plenty of variations, such affordable prices. You've got the beach trousers, you've got beach shirts, you've got maxi kimonos, you've got absolutely everything. And Primark, once again, you're smashing the swimwear. When I want it, then I want it, yeah, I want you uh, Everything stops when you move like that And I wanna get in close to you It's what I'm gonna do Cause right now I'm in it I feel kinda dizzy when I'm staring at you And I won't look back, yeah I don't care about the bad shit back home It's Cincinnati, baby, I just wanna let it go Nothing matters when we're
So I thought I'd let you uh, have a little look around the denim section on your own, which is actually quite a big section. The flannel shirts, yes. Jeans, yes. Every single style. But this caught my eye, guys. And as soon as I saw it, I was like, I need this in my life. Dan has one very similar. And when we went round and done the bits to pick up for the haul, I saw it and I was like, what do you think of this? And he said, oh, it looks like mine. And I said, uh, would you mind if I like, picked one up? Because then we could be twinning. And he was like, go for it. And of course, all the Disney stuff. Disney bags absolutely loved it. So um, yes, I will tell you now, guys, I picked up that jacket and <laughs> we are going to be twinning in our little denim bow fur collar jackets. I was like, that is going to be so cute. And that is just, it's the little things in life that make you smile, eh, guys? But yes, I'm not going to rub it on the uh, denim section because we're actually coming to the end. But look, they've done it in black as well. But I did stick with the normal blue. And as you can see, denim, you was good. Now, guys, this section, this was all of your makeup, your beauty, your bath and, oh, all of the good stuff, you know? And uh, that is... um a downfall of mine because do I need all of these lip balms? No. Did I get suckered in? Probably yes. I actually can't remember if I put any in. No, in my luck, I absolutely did. Primark's Beauty and look at these. Look at the little cleansing pads. I wouldn't even want to use them. I think they're way too nice to use. Um, Primark's Beauty and Bath and Skincare and everything like that is so on point and it's so affordable. Honestly, look at all this. Bath bombs, body scrubs, body lotions, you've got hair bits. Now, I've never used, I think it's called Olaplex, but when you uh, turn around in a moment, guys, you will see there's a little hair care selection, and it screams Olaplex to me. It looks very chic, but as I say, I think Olaplex is a little spenny spenny, and of course, Primark, they're helping us out with affordability. We have face masks, we have the whole lot. Look at this, a hair detangler, a scalp massager, this is what I was going on about, guys. It looks very much like very chic. Look, we've got more pads. Do I need any more? No, look, you've even got a little Hollywood mirror. Look at this. Just screams fabulousness. And there we are. We've got the heatless curlers in there. So, guys, uh, nothing left for me to say on this one. Primark, you're smashing it with your uh, skincare, makeup, everything like that. And look at these. The micellar waters are perfect for traveling. They're the little 100 ml bottles. So why not? These are. Chuck them in your bag. You're not going to get stopped going through security. I love Primark for their minis as well because they always think out of the box. But uh, here we are. Every little bit of makeup you can imagine. And that, Shannon, is your cue to poodle off. City of mine. How I love, how I love the city of mine. It never gets me down City of mine How I love, how I love this city of mine It never gets me down, yeah I was born in the city, I was raised on its edges My pop work is life when it's gone But I found love in its center If I could live here forever, think it'd be for the better I love the weather, even though it's fog 24-7 I love the people this is city, I met all my best friends And I wanna thank every break I wanna thank every entrance to every building That I step in in this city of mine Oh, you most my best moments in life See, I fell in love for the first time In Golden Gate Park I saw my first rap show at Great American Hall I used to beg my homies for a ride across the bridge To goof off and spend the whole damn day Doing whatever we want Keep drove us down to Ice Place While we roll up a blunt And me and Jack would get stony Walk around and get lost Don't think I'll ever truly pay back While I was lucky to get just by walking through the city no i'm a small part of this And then here is kind of like the little travel getaway section. So look, they've got their suitcases in the sale. And also we have a Disney section. So you do have a big holdall to match a backpack, a mini backpack. There's like a phone bag. You have your purse. They have a whole Disney selection. So if you are going away to any Disney worlds, look, they've even got ears. And I know I've been told that ears are spinny spinny at Disney. Trust me. As I say, never been, but 
if you're on there guys this is a place as soon as i saw these i was like oh my god james and ben are going in less than 30 days absolutely they need to go to primark this is kind of like the Valentine's Galentine section. Everything's pink, everything's cute, fruity, rosy. Look at these socks. Look at them. They are just adorable. And they may or may not have slipped into the basket also. So a lot of pinks, as I say, very much self-love, Galentine's. Have your man, have your lady, have yourself all about self-care and then as we go around here this is a bit more of the travel side but this side is mainly dedicated to stitch stitch has its whole big travel range i mean come on the little guy is smashing it and then the next section that you'll see i wanted these is so bad is all the jewelry and accessories so that one i'm just gonna let you have a wonder I never really had a place to call my own, so I travel and I roam till I find that. But I'm full of adventure, so I wander and I venture, and it's safe to say that really I don't mind that. I book a flight to try to figure where my mind's at, a spot where I don't spend no money, just some time at. I mix and mingle with the people till I learn a little. I brought some weed and baby, maybe we could burn a little. She said you're funny, I said no, I'm David, and I left. Sun shining, birds chirping, let me take a breath. I'm headed to the city where my chance to make it best what people like to give a little then you take the rest i'm hoping one day maybe i can find a place to rest i fell in love with life and wonder where it take me next i like the hustle and bustle i fell in love with the fashion i feel the pulse of the city is moving me like a passion and it's mine That was level one done guys here we come up now and we are going up to menswear homeware children baby all of the good stuff now you are going to see in a moment something that took my eye can you see what took my eye just yet it's a little something that's hiding in the corner the only thing it had leather arms which i was worried the leather could crack because if this had had the waterproof arms like my others that would have been coming home with me look at this guys raptors again i don't know who these are i don't know what they do but i really love the black and red vibe i mean this was weighty this was 50 pound i think it's more because it's the leather style as opposed to kind of like the waterproof version that i have but guys if you're looking for your workout wear if you're looking for your basics your hoodies your tops have a look i went through the whole men's section so i'm not going to rib it rabbit on this because i don't know if you guys even want to see it so if you don't you're probably going to skip through but it's always handy i like to know with a shop what every single department has because you never know when you're going to need it and when i was going around i was like oh i was like dan there's some bits there for the cabin there's some bits there for like when we go away there's like St. lucia bits we've got swimming shorts they had a huge men's section and as I say, very, very affordable prices, great colours, great styles. And yeah, I'm actually not rabbiting on this, guys. I will let the men enjoy this. I will let the ladies enjoy this. Eat your heart out because there's a lot of stuff in the menswear that I think is very transitional for women. And I may have got a little bit sidetracked. Standard Chan. Smashed up all the parts. Oh, na, na, na. 
Always knew that you were stubborn But didn't know it'd be so hard To figure out who you really are I guess our dreams fell asleep There's no passion in the comatose Baby, going down, 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 down Baby, going down, 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 down Tried so hard to stay afloat Yeah, we keep moving like the river goes Baby, going down, 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 down Yeah And I thought
main section huge. And look at this home section. This home section had everything and anything you needed and I loved the layout. Look at this, a little uh, busty vase uh, diffuser holder, which I absolutely love because you can reuse it. I'm actually in the process of getting a bit more love in my room for the month of Valentine's. I need to get out my little busts. But here we have a few little candles, great scent. And as you will see, there's candles, diffusers, we've got water bottles, we've got mugs. I mean, do I need any more? No. Did I still get carried away and look at them? Yes. This, absolutely loved. As I say, I've got quite a few bust things, whether it's the top half or the lower half. And these room sprays, if you remember last month, I picked one up. I think it was called Relax. It was a blue one and definitely, definitely, I've actually got it on my bed. I think it is called the Relax, but yeah, I loved all of this section. It was just so vibrant. I mean, look at the water bottle display. Did I need any more water bottles? No. Did I really want some? Yes. Did Dan have to practically walk me away from the water bottle section? Yes, he did. This was the one that I was gravitating towards. I was like, oh. And then they have the almost like flasky ones that are a bit more thermal type. You've got a little picnic section here. And guys, just wait till you see the mugs, okay? The mugs, the faux flowers, the throws. Oh, this is a good cut. And now we delve into the world of pajamas. Pajamas, loungewear, comfies, we love it all. These are your classic short sets. I've definitely gone more towards the cotton than the silk because when you're stretching about in the night, guys, you don't want nothing rubbing around your chafing, do you? It's just not a vibe, not a vibe at all. So I do tend to go more for the cotton ones. However, 
there are a few little silky numbers that have caught my eye and that is all of the stuff for the valentine's range so this is very very much victoria's secret dupe at a fraction of the price just look at this we've got classic black pipes pajamas we've got striped night shirts absolutely love it look at that lovely hot pink dressing gown these were so cute absolutely love these but i do tend to go more as i say for the cotton but if you want the cotton do not fear because Primark has you covered. You will see it in a moment, guys. Primark have actually got a long sleeve and long trouser cotton white PJ set with red hearts all over, which they unfortunately didn't have mum's size in, but we are on the hunt to try and pick them up for our little Galentine's weekend because, uh, yeah, very, very cute. If not, we may have picked a few other little bits and bobs up for Galentine's, but, yeah, absolutely love these. And, I mean, look at them. The only difference is that they don't have VS on. But I'd much rather save all that money in my bank and uh, not have that. I mean, look at the underwear. £9 for a cute little lacy number. Why not? Don't have to be paying all these prices like Anne Summers and Boo Avenue when you've got Primark that are literally killing it through for you. Even, Dan, look at these. The little slips, the little nighties. They are such a dupe for Victoria's Secret, especially with the mesh lace on the top. £12. I remember back in the day when I used to buy mine, they was like £38. 38 bad you could buy three you could buy three and have a couple of quid left over these are the long sleeve cotton ones guys so as i say if you don't want the silky ones and you literally just want comfort primark have got you covered as well we've got a few more little bits of lingerie and of course we're going to go look at the uh racks of your thongs your g-strings your multi-packs of course we're going to look at the seamless sets as well that's my part shan stepping out let the people enjoy the hosiery not hosiery, lingerie, pyjama section. You know what I mean. Somehow. 
And as I say, guys, they did have a very large kid section. Look, they've even got the balls going into the boys' wear. But all of this, not just boys, I would rock that. Unisex, guys, you wear what you want. We're in this day and age, and you wear whatever you're comfortable in. I'm not going to rivet rabbit around the kids' section because I don't actually know what I'm looking at. I don't know these brands. I don't know the characters, I'm afraid, and I don't want to offend anyone's children by saying a name wrong or this is that. And they're like, no, that's not what it is. So <laughs> I'm going to let you have a little look around. I think this is from, I'm going to say like one, two years old up to, I think I've seen tags for nine to 11. And then we head over to the baby section. So there's a little bit of everything and anything, but I don't think you'll hear much from me now until you see me with the lovely Primark Lady Ellie who made this all happen. So yeah, enjoy guys. Some action and distract him right now. He's fine, but Lucy on the line. Let's get this started. Where's the party tonight? I feel good, nothing weighs me down. I can't believe my love right now. Red eyes while he said, Don't you wanna have fun? Fool around with someone. Don't you wanna have fun? Never mind my dumb heart. It needs a little. would have seen a little overview there well I say a little overview I've been walking around for about two hours yeah so um the doors are ready to open and I'm like I need to hurry myself up and I've been keeping an eye on the bits I want to go back for the haul but I'm here with Ellie Hi, who very kindly invited me down here and we're just gonna have a little talk about the top trends at the moment and what to look for in your Primark so over to you what is going on at the so, moment our biggest trend at the moment is the Paula Times Primark. It's the second or third range she's had in store. Do you know how to say her surname? Because I butcher it every time. I'm going to go Echevaria. Echevaria. Paula E. That's how Paula I know e. she's, she's great. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's a lot of workout, but it's like day to night. You've got like yep. the tailoring, the school waistcoat mm -hmm. blazer, trouser trend, uh, matching mm -hmm. suits. The suit is very Zara esque. Is very the blazers are like yeah. staple pieces. I'm living for the cupboards at the moment. The square. Get a lot of wear out of them. I must yeah. say, Ellie, very kindly modeling. <laughs> and the bonjour jumpers. I love very, them. We did have it, but it sold out very quickly. It's very popular. Back in. I feel like if I pick that up, I need to hint him for a trip to Paris or France. I just think I'll put it on for you. <laughs> Take the hints, guys. <laughs> <laughs> but the pajamas, I see great Victoria's Secret droops. Absolutely. Valentine's Day ready. In Definitely. however way you want to do it. You got the silky, you got the comfy. You've got the five pound snooties. Guys, five check out pounds. your front mark. Yes. Five pound snooties. I'm like hedgehogs, yes, hogs. Yes, yes. You got the men's ones from five pounds. 
dressing gowns for four pounds. I know. I think I'm gonna have there's, to sneak a dressing gown. There is bargains everywhere. I tell you that. <laughs> um, we've got the pink tailoring range going on, so it's yeah. kind of ties in with the Paula range. And it's just very pink, very girly. It's giving L words, but illegally blonde vibes. I mean, just look at the gorgeous yeah. bedding behind us here. This set up fake flowers because I can't be trusted with real flowers. <laughs> nice diffusers, candles, cushions. I think I might even have to pick up another throw. I mean, it's very tempting. Candle. Well, Lovely. Vetiver. I, I saw it and peach. I was I saw peach and I was like, that's a bit of me. That's very amazing. very nice. <laughs> everything in this channel <laughs> as you see it's starting to get the doors ready to it open is. we are I'm ready ready it to go lovely. so guys if you are in the Basildon area come on down you've seen everything yeah, here if you see ellie just say i saw you from shan <laughs> i'll be like it's here but uh yes who knows we could make this a regular occurrence you might see me around here hopefully i won't take as long next time but i need to go because i feel like i'm holding everyone up i'll see you when i'm back at home guys bye, bye. i've done my first come shop with me guys oh my goodness honestly the team they were so so lovely and we did get to meet the lovely ladies mum and her sister and mama g was in her element and dan was there we was all having a big chit chat and her brother popped along so it was really really nice as i say if you guys do see us any of us out and about please come up or say hi whatever we might be a little bit shy at first because i'm very like <gasps> hi because i still can't get in my head that people watch me <laughs> like when you guys send me photos and videos and you're like oh like you're on my tv or that that is so surreal for me still even now so when people are like shan i'm like hi it's not that i'm awkward i might look awkward at the beginning i'll be like because in essence i'm still like struck that someone's calling me but after that please do come over because i'll be like hi how are you and you probably think that's her and i'm like yep yeah, what you see is what you get with me but honestly the team over at primark basildon amazing and i have also been taking some content to try and get a few tiktoks going so if you follow me on tiktok stay tuned guys because there may be a few primark ones coming up um as i say this was not a gifted paid collaboration anything at all it was just that the store reached out and ellie said like would you like to come down and we'll see how this goes so yes it was a store friendly kind of a mutual collaboration we both got a bit of content and yeah and that's another thing i think people think with youtube and stuff like that you only ever do stuff for paid content it's not like that at all i'm very much if i like the idea of it it doesn't matter whether it's paid or not if i'm enjoying it and it's something i'm passionate about i'm there it doesn't always matter about the figures the income anything like that a lot of you guys will say to me on some of my videos why do you do this this doesn't get views this is boring each to your own but there might be someone who does enjoy that and that is why i do it um and as i say it was lovely meeting your mom brother and your little sister that was oh so so great we had good photos um mum and g was loving life chatting up the security guard the poor lad this is why mum and g doesn't go out often because uh she gets a little bit waylaid but um she very kindly as well we was just doing our shopping for the haul and she come over with a little hamper and oh guys i saw this and i was like i've got everything in my favorite bits in there we've got a mug there's stitch there's a diffuser there's coffee socks so honestly like you did not have to at all but who knows this could be a little feature well maybe every month on the channel who knows we're gonna see how it goes but i do just want to say thank you for giving me the opportunity for the first time because it's, it did help my confidence i saw where i wanted to go what i wanted to do zooming in and as i say i would just do the voiceover bits well you would have already seen the voiceover bits i haven't done them just yet we'll plan it as we go but yes guys if you did enjoy that video you know what to do hit that thumbs up and subscribe down below and leave us a comment did you see anything that took you all right because you know what that means now there is a primark haul to come and it may or may not be a little bit bigger than normal but yes, once again, thank you so much to the team over at Basildon Primark. Guys, take care, stay safe as always, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!